Hello, people. <laughs> hey, peoples. Hey, welcome to this week's episode of the Artistic Biker. Uh, so I've been doing some different stuff lately. I haven't been doing a whole lot of art journaling. Uh, it's not because I don't like to art journal. It's just, it's just that I I wanted to do some different stuff, and I thought that I could start sharing some of the different stuff that I'm doing with you. For instance, tonight I'm going to watercolor a pen up, and I know I don't do that very often, right? But uh, Last week I tried. I started doing it a different way, and I want to share that process with you. So we're going to. Uh, ah, how do I change cameras? I'm going to go to my computer here, and I'm going to pull up. Um, I'm going to pull up from my Facebook page. I'm going to scroll, 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 scroll. I have all of these drawings and paintings on my Facebook page and my photos and I want to do da, 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 da. we did say pen-ups right you'd think I'd have the pen up sorted into a pen-up folder but you know I'm just not that I may maybe I'll do that before we do this again so here I like this one so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna download it and then I'm going to uh, open it in I'm going to open it in paint so hang on I can't see what you can see so I'm going to open it in paint and I'm going to crop it down to just this picture just this this part of it and then after I crop it to this I'm going to turn it into black and white. I'm going to do that on... I, I did this part. I just did this in paintbrush. It's a Windows-based computer. I just did this in, I just did this in paintbrush. And so uh, from here I'm going to go to uh, Pixlr website. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go to Pixlr and I'm going to open it in Pixlr and I'm going to make it black and white. And once I make it black and white I'm going to print it. I can resize it. If you resize it to 768 pixels, I think it is. 7, 768 pixels uh, makes it about 8 inches wide. So that, that makes it, if you're going to use 9 by 12 uh, watercolor paper, then 768 pixels to get you 8 inches wide, and then however tall that is, then we'll just have to crop it to fit what we're doing. And so what we end up with is. Da, da, da. I'm gonna have to zoom out this camera. I know I've got this camera zoomed in for the for the uh, random objects. So I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit and move the camera so that you're looking at the table and not the belly. So what what we end up with then is this drawing. And I'm gonna take this drawing. And I'm going to take, I've got some graphite paper here. Now, I've never used the graphite paper before. The last time I did this, um, the last time I did this, I used a light table. My wife has this light table that she uh, gritted her teeth and she let me borrow it. And it's a really nice little LED light table. It may not even be plugged in. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's an LED LED light table, and I took the drawing last time and put it on the light table upside down, and then I just took a like an 8B pencil or a charcoal pencil and just went around the lines that I that I wanted, and and then I took my watercolor paper and I took the charcoal and I turned it upside down and, I, and then I just used the uh, actually I just used this can and just, and just rubbed on it and, it and it rubbed the lines off onto the paper and then I watercolored the paper and I think it turned out fairly well. There's some details there that I didn't get like that chin should have been looking up and instead I made it like a three quarter view so that makes the mouth off and there's some other things wrong with it but, but I think it turned out okay but this week I'm going to do it differently or at least I'm, I'm going to look at doing it differently because you're watching. <laughs> so I've got this graphite paper. 
<clears throat> when I did that, I didn't have the graphite paper. <clears throat> you know, quick, quick on Amazon. Yeah, you got everything you want on Amazon, right? You, know, you think you might want something, you see it's on Amazon. Oh, hey, it's only $6. I've got Amazon Prime, so there's no, there's no uh, shipping fees involved in that. Besides, uh, I've got a couple of standing orders coming in. Anyway, let's just add some graphite paper on that. That's how I end up with jack ton of projects going on all around me that I've never started or finished. So I'm guessing the shiny side is the graphite side. Like I said, I've never done this before. This is you and I are doing this the first time together. Uh, I've used carbon paper before, obviously. Uh, when I was in the army, you know, we typed we typed on carbon paper and we used carbon paper to transfer stuff all the time. So I mean, I'm not I'm not exactly new to the concept. So let's lay that. We're going to lay that on the watercolor paper. Now I know I want to tape it down. And you don't have to tape it much. I just know that I, I don't want it because it'll flit around on the. It'll flit around on you. So we're just going to we're just going to tape it just a little bit, just in a couple of places to keep it from moving around. Because like I said, you know. I'm only familiar with how carbon paper works, and I'm, I'm guessing this is the same stuff, or at least the same type of stuff. And so, let's put this on here like this, and also tape it down so that it can't move around on us. So we'll keep our, or what, is, what do they call it in screen printing? Registry? We want to keep our register lines the same? I don't know. I know one of the benefits of being married to a hot art te teacher is that when I come up with questions like that, I can just stop and call her and ask her. But I think she's taking a bath right now, so it would be a horrible time to call her. She's taking a bath here. So I'm using the blunt end of a brush. I don't, I don't know how much pressure to put. Let's see, let's see how that's working out over there. I may be putting too much pressure. Oh, no, it's doing fine. It is too much pressure, but honestly, I don't know how much detail I want to do right here. Maybe I just want to get in the basic shapes, but I, I'm afraid that what I have done... Did I do that shape already? I think I did. I'm afraid that since I've done it this way, I may be married to those lines. They may be too dark to overcome. We may be using ink. I don't know. We'll figure that out. This drawing becomes my reference photo. Belly button. I think I missed a bit. Okay. So let's see how well the transfer went. This, watch this. If this works up. Smooth would be the first time something ever has ever worked out smooth like this when I do it live with you guys for the first time. I mean, usually there's blood, there's crying.
hopefully somebody's somebody's harmed in some way. Dun dun dun! Oh hey, look down here was where all my fingers were while I was scraping and stuff. So that worked out well. Put this away. I'm guessing that this stuff, for what we're doing with it, I'm guessing this guy can probably use this a couple hundred times, a couple of hundred times. And the frequency with which I'm going to do this, this stuff may, this may have, this may, this six dollars may very well have been a lifetime supply. Anyway, it's just graphite paper. So, if my lines are, oh goodness, it's all wrinkled up in there, if static electricity, I wonder if you can use like a dryer sheet. Well, it was a lifetime supply until I wrinkled it all up and made it useless. Okay, let's put that away before it gets worse. I think I've got it worked out. Ah, which side's the sticky side? This side's the sticky side. It goes this way. All right, I'm gonna put it back in this Ziploc bag. I started to get overprotective of my art supplies. I've had to replace my art supplies too many times now because I'm not organized like Didi, but I need to be organized like Didi. <laughs> I need to have a box full of blue stuff. There's all my blue stuff right here. Alright, so now, now if it's graphite, I ought to be able to take the, I ought to be able to take the needed eraser and lighten that sucker up a little. Just a little, I mean, that bias up some freedom on some of those lines, right? Honestly, though, I don't know how many of those lines we need freedom from. They're all pretty much where I want them. Because I like this. I don't care if this is dark because it's going to be because it's going to be black for a bathing suit or at least a dark color. Then I don't care if this is dark because that's going to be the edge of her body so the watercolor is going to get darker on that on that edge anyway. I just know if you're going to do this part, you have to do this part prior to... Let's just see, just because I'm curious. If you're going to do this part, you have to do this part prior to watercolor because the watercolor seems to trap it in. That takes it up a little bit, doesn't it? Make it where the lines aren't quite so dark. That'll be handy. Anyway, I wonder if we can take that up. Now. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, so that's that part of it. Put that away because that won't that won't do me any good from here on in. So at this point, what I have to decide is: is it going to be pure watercolor? Is it going to be watercolor and ink? You know, if it's watercolor and ink, then these lines don't matter at all because once I get done watercoloring it, I can come back with the ink. And I like, I mean, that's what I did here. It's kind of a comic book look. I like that, but I also like the watercolor. I don't know, let's do the watercolor first and then we'll decide what I think about coming back with ink. So I'm going to take some tape here. I'm going to tape off the edge of my page so that I know I want to keep everything within my boundaries here.
There hasn't been a whole lot going on here. I'd love to sit here and tell you about all the amazing new things going on in my life, but the truth of the matter is, is I've been unemployed since February. And I did start a master's program. Um, so that I can get my master's in, in project management, of all things. So I did begin that. And let's see what else is going on. I bought the parts to work on the random auger fire, but I haven't worked on the random auger fire because, ooh, ooh, easy, easy, go where I tell you to. I haven't worked on the random auger fire because I have like 50 things that I have to do to get before I can even get to the random auger fire. Stuff I need to, that's crooked as snot, but <laughs> things I need to move, things I need to put away. Hey, there's good, I don't know if you can see that or not, dog hair. There's dog hair in the tape. Sometimes I, sometimes I wish I didn't have dogs and didn't have to mess with that kind of stuff, but then I'd have to bend over and pick up food that I dropped on the floor. Right now I just don't have that problem. Anyway, I'm not trying to tell you a sad story about being unemployed. I don't think that that's going to be my situation for very much longer anyway. But it is my current situation. I'm going to go ahead and tape the top and bottom too. It is my current situation. So, and then there's the plague. So, I'm not getting out much. Not because I'm afraid of the plague, it's just there's no place to go. The places you can go, you only go for a very little bit, except for like the water park. They let us they let us go to the water park, so every now and then we get out. So I got some ink sprays here that I like to use to kill the to kill the uh, uh, white page syndrome. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this with some ink with some with some ink. Uh, just like right just in a few spots. A little spray ink. So let me dry that before I go any further. Let me put those away. Let me dry that. These are just spray bottles with uh, acrylic ink and water in them. Just have to shake them up and spray them. They were super cheap. I got them off Wish. So anyway, let me dry this real quick. Uh, we'll take a little break and we will be right back. Heat gun. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. All right, well, that was fun. So I did a little watercolor earlier, so my watercolor should still be still should still be moist. So I was playing with my watercolor, doing my my daily practice. So. I don't know how daily you could call that though, considering that I'm on day 28, day 29. That was day 29 of 30 faces in 30 days, and I started in April. So I'm not real sure. Let's get some more light. Is that too much light? That's oh goodness, that's just got to washed out for you, doesn't it? It's like perfect for me, but it's washed out for you. Okay. Uh, we'll figure. We'll compromise. It's still washed out for you, but at least you can kind of see the lines. Um, let's see. How real do I want this to be? Is a, is always a good question. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to mix up. Actually, I need to get rid of some. 
other colors in here before that turns into too much mud. Because I used it earlier, I don't mind it over here because I can continue to mix those colors. But this color, this is where I was mixing my pinks, and then I went to add some other tones to my pinks. I went to add some what is it tone? Make it darker. I made it try to make it darker. Anyway. So let's start with a little bit of red. hit the warm spots. Um, let's go let's go across here. Let's go across here, across here. Let's go across here. going. She is, this is, this model was, this model that I drew this picture off of, she, this is heavily in, inspired by Lily Lux. And Lily Lux is a beautiful, beautiful curvy blonde, platinum blonde. But not when I'm doing the drawing. <laughs> I'm doing the ball, but I'm doing the drawing. I know this. I know this comes as a shock to people, but uh, I have a little bit of a thing for redheads. So when I'm doing the drawing, she's going to be a redhead. some of that here in this corner. But I think that makes a good shadow skin tone. And so I'm going to bring that in right here. And let's see which way which way do you think the sun is the, the sun looks like it's coming from this way. So Shadow there. Like that. And we're going to have a little bit more. See, I think that makes up a nice shadow skin tone. Add it in here. And we're going to have it in here. And we're going to have it over here.
Can't talk, Marty. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. While we let's focus on the bathing suit. Let's get some Payne's gray going here. Because even though that bathing suit is black, I'm not gonna use black. But I am instead going to use Payne's gray. change brushes. I could get a more delicate brush. But the truth of the matter is, is I kind of like I kind of like the way it looks when your watercolor is very loose. I also like it when it's very firm. There's some really good watercolors out there, especially like on Instagram. Ooh. There's some people out there that do that, that make that watercolor look real. Watercolor. Watercolor, mind you. Not Not oil, not acrylic, though there, there's some oil and acrylic out there that's in, that I'm a little envious of, too. But there's some watercolors out there that I just look at that and I go, how in the hell? How do you do that? Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Good. I'm recording. You want to say hi to the people? Hi, peoples. I'm not live. I know. So I'm using the voice thingy? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. They can hear me. They can hear you. What are you up to, kiddo? Nothing. Yeah? Can't talk, Harding. Alright, let's get back to some of these skin tones. So, now, I'm going to take a little bit of that blue. And let's hit some, let's hit some cool parts. my mop make sure my mop is full of water just enough I want it loaded I want it loaded but I don't want it can't see that. There's a glare. I want it loaded, but I don't. I don't want to 
have entirely too much color there. I don't even know if that makes sense. I know what I'm trying to say. I don't know how to say it to you. <laughs> I don't even know how to show it to you, apparently. Goodness. That light. Well, if I don't have that light, then I can't see it. I'm going to have to figure out that white balance. I don't even know how to show you what I'm doing. But I'm going to come in now with, uh, a, oh, let's say... Say it brown, nice brown. Raw burnt umber. A bit of burnt umber. Makes a little bit of burnt umber into that orange. Now let's, let's add some texture to that hair. See, the problem for me is that it's super easy for me just to pick up that pen. I really just want to pick up that pen and start and start um, filling in the void, filling in the things that I know that are not where I want them to be yet. And that's super easy. That's just... Because that's what I do all the time. It's not necessarily right. I'm going to take just a little bit of this um, Payne's Gray. I'm going to come on the bottom of those eyebrows to give them a little bit of depth. Okay, now let's see where we want to go. I'm liking this. Let's see if we can soften this up. I don't want a hard line there. I mean, I don't care if I have a hard line there. It just wasn't my goal. If I can soften that, if I can soften that line up a little bit, I will. I'd like it to. I'd like it to uh, blend because she's not. She's not metallic. She has skin has a texture to it, and so the transitions on skin should be smooth. Unless it's a cast shadow. Because skin has a texture. If it didn't have a texture, if it was like a, a brass ball, then it would just be dark where it's dark and light where it's light and that'd be the that'd be the end of it. So let's take that um, green that olive green sepia mixture we were doing a while ago. Now see what I'm doing there, I'm going to have to do something different because that was cross-contamination. On my watercolor palette, I have the cools on one side and I have the warms on the other side. And I keep a yellow on the top of each so that uh, if I have to mix on this side, I don't mix any, any warms into my cools. I don't mix any reds into my blues kind of thing. Or we'll rather, um, yeah, oranges into purples and that kind of stuff. However, there's my buddy. However, this sepia, I like this sepia and olive color. So I'm going to have to put some sepia on this side to make sure that I don't get cross contamination back on this side. I want to come up in here and I want to 
darken this shadow between these breasts. And I want to darken this shadow darken this shadow here. What you doing, buddy? About to start arting. Oh, you need to clear off a spot. No, I can just sit right here and art in my sketchbook. I love it when you come out here and art with me. Talk. Parting. Who are you talking to? You. I know. Alright. Alright, I'm going to come back in with um, more of that red. Ah. More of that red. Why is that so washed out? Mm -hmm. Is that light just too bright? I don't know what to do for you. I don't know how to make it better. What if I turn that one off and turn that one off? Why not use your red light? Well, my red light's to let me know. Oh, yeah, that's actually better. Let's do that. The red light is to let me know when the when the uh, uh, hair dryer when the hair dryer is working. come in here because I need some of that other stuff to dry before I can do anything else. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to more I want to do to this. I'm thinking I'm thinking we may come back to this color right here. We get a lot of that. We may come back to this color right here. And I may get my big mop out here. I may come this with a big mouth and then get this color and just come right along that edge
see what Suck it up. So I think it worked out. I think the I think the transfer was pretty cool. What time is it? How long have we been doing this? Don't know. About an hour. And the time about, is about, one about forty-five minutes. PM. One PM. No, one fifty AM. What are you doing up at one fifty AM? How are you going to get up in the morning? We're going to the Typhoid, Texas in the morning. How are you going to get up? That's all I want to do tonight. I could I could do more, but the goal was to the goal was to try the transfer. To focus on blending colors. So we used a we used graphite paper. We printed a picture off that we that I drew, and 
and then use graphite paper to transfer that picture onto some watercolor paper. And then use the watercolors to color the picture in. So now that makes it that what I so here's what I like about it. Here's here's why I wanted to play with my watercolor with my mainly I wanted to play with the graphite paper. The goal here, one of the things that slows me down is I don't want to redraw the picture. I've already drawn the picture. I don't want to redraw the picture. I don't want to try to draw the picture on my watercolor paper. This is uh, what is this? This is uh, Arches Aqua Aquarelle Watercolor. This is a watercolor pad. What do they call this? Hot pressed. There's a word for this. It's a pad. I hear I have one unopened. A block? Is it a block? Watercolor block? Yeah, it's a block. Where it's glued on all the sides. So. Uh, except for right here, so that the uh, paper stays stays pressed down, and so it's kind of pricey. It's not. I mean, it's not so expensive that I'm not willing to use it, but it's it's uh, it's just not something that I want to. It's just not something that I want to wad up and throw away. So I'm hesitant to try to just draw directly on it every time at this stage in my abilities. Using a pallet knife to cut the plastic off of it. But let's see. I mean that turned out fairly well. It doesn't look anything like Lily Lugs. But you know, it didn't really look like anything. It didn't really look much like Lily Lux to begin. But I think it turned out fairly well. Anyway, it was fun playing with you guys. Um, what I'm, what I'm kind of hoping to do is I'm kind of hoping to get back into the live scene. I know my son here has been wanting to do more live art, and he also has an origami channel that he was trying to develop. So he likes to fold the papers, and that's pretty cool. So. Uh, what we'll try to do is we'll try to get back into the habit of on Thursday nights. So I'll just do live stuff. The daily, yeah, Wednesdays for you. So the daily drawing stuff that's that's been fun, but uh, I, I really want to move that more towards a practice side. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to film that anymore because I need I need to be able to stop at 15 minutes. <laughs> you know, if I try to produce a finished drawing, that that little, even that little drawing, where is it? La, 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 la. Even this little drawing, like this today, was uh, this wolf, this little wolf drawing. I'll go back to the other camera. Today was this little wolf drawing, and and that little wolf drawing, even as lacking in detail as it is, you know, it it still took it still took about 30 minutes, and so. I need I need to stop at 15 minutes. That's that's supposed to be that's supposed to be practice. That's just supposed to be warm up. That's supposed to be check out your darks and lights. You know, spend some time on it. Spend 15 minutes on it and go on. Do it while you're drinking a cup of coffee in the morning if you want to. But it's not supposed to be 30 to 45 minutes, and that's what it's turned into, especially with video editing. So I'm going to knock that off. Uh, I'll still po I'll still post them to Facebook. I'll still do them and post them to Facebook. But they're more going to be warm up for my for my uh, practice session, like with the the 30 day faces that I was doing. And then on Thursday night, we'll rotate between uh, watercolors and minis and acrylics and and art journaling because we still want art journal. But we'll rotate through all that. We'll have the boy here arting with us. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get the girl to art with us. And if we have questions, we'll call the the hot my beautiful young art bride. Hmm. Anything you want to add? Thank you so much for joining. You know this is my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. Except it wasn't live tonight, so I didn't have my besties. But we're gonna go live. We're gonna do it on Twitch, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll.
we'll do that on Thursdays. We'll see how we'll see how it goes. So peace out, y'all. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.